But I could see Rodrigo Caporal trying to pull guard as well. But the other hand, Rodrigo Caporal has a very good wrestling. And uh, we have one minute to see that. See the advantage on the rest already from Caporal. Caporal very aggressive here. Oh, Poncioy. Wow, that was a surprising move. Just talking about it. Wow. Wow. See the Novo Neo crowd going crazy back there for Marcio. Definitely a Marcio is really favorite. talented guy. He's very complete, you know. Which is really well known by his guard. Eight seconds to go. Let's see what's gonna happen. He's looking at the clock. Three seconds, two, one. Let's see if he's on point. Here we go. Oh yes, he's down. Wow, that was on the mark again. Yeah, Rodrigo wants none of that guard. Nice. Good job getting underneath Marcio there. He's got to connect his hands. If connect his hands, he can really stack Marcio. Yeah, Marcio's guard is so articulate. He's so flexible, you know. That's the thing, you know, the, the, the kind of guard that Marcio Andre has is one of the hardest ones to stabilize in the nogi. Yeah. Because he's, he's very slippery, very wobbly, very flexible, and his very legs fast are short and strong. As well. So what do you do? When you have short legs like that, they fit in you know, any little space you give your opponent, the legs come back. This kind like, of fight, you, you need to be very pressure, pressure pies yeah. and uh, hoping the guy turns the back so he can attack the back. I then was just going to say, back. like yeah, a lot of times, like guys like that, I'm not even trying to pass Brawl. I'm trying to get a scramble, a submission, a guillotine, a full lock, or ideally get them to go Correct. turtle up. You if just, I can get you on your knees, I got something. You just said right now, uh, the, the footlock, and that's one thing that I like to use this team a lock for to get a reaction so the guy can turtle, so I can shoot to the hips, either takes the back or gets the I'll be completely control. honest with you, I haven't had great success with the steam lock. I've had good success getting people to turtle up from the steam lock, which is probably my favorite position to be in. Exactly, so you yeah. can use it as an attack, as a setup. It's a win win. That's oh, an nice. that a, oh, wow. That, that was came on. out of nowhere. That was on and, and straight and to the knee bar. Straight into a lay. Absolutely. That was an amazing. Hey, hey, that was on, Robert. That was Robert. a quick arm That was bar. on. Yeah. I'm sure Kaporal is feeling that arm right there. Marshall very relaxed off his back. He's so fast. You can see Caporal almost like yeah, he's trying to stack Marshall, but Marshall's just not letting him get underneath him. Um, Caporal's almost like a little tentative to get in there. You know, he doesn't. You know, he's not really engaging much. It's very uh, hard to from that distance to get so effective with the stacking bars. And I don't think stack pass is going to be the way to pass. Um, yeah, his guard, I mean, you know? yeah, he kind of gave it away already. So now at this point, he lost the surprise element there. And Marsh is just very sharp, not letting uh, Caporal get there. Do you I, know, yeah, you I, know I think, what I would be doing right now? I would be jumping on the guillotine and going to the dash. Yeah, you're going to have <laughs> to It's been working for so neck. far. Yeah, reach for the neck. And especially for people who sit, sit, sit sat down right there. Because it's very hard. You, you don't expect that. And you're going to have to counter the guillotine, which is going to lead to the dash that leaks back to the guillotine. It's a perfect plan. Great combination. Yeah, especially because you don't have that collar to hold on to. So how do you attach yourself to the upper body? There's nothing to hold on to. Correct. Right? So that's why people just reach for that guillotine. Um, I, I actually, I, that's something I normally pass to be frank, man. I just keep reaching for that neck, right? And then once I have the neck, I, I, it's hard for you to shrimp when I have your neck, too. So if you reach for that guillotine in half guard or in a combat stance, your shrimping becomes difficult. Exactly. And it sets it up stuck. my guillotine. Your mobility is, is, is much harder. That's the way to go right there. Because the thing is, for, to be able to achieve in anything, um, in jiu-jitsu, you got to stop the mobility of your opponent, right? And then work from there on. But how can you stop the mobility on the no gi when it's everything so slippery? So you need to get these pressure points on the reference points that the guy gets stuck. Yeah, and the know? head, that control the head and the, the guillotine. The head is very important. Head, elbow, 
You know, underhooks. Plus, it's, it's, it's so annoying to have someone hanging onto your chin and have that guillotine. It's hard now you gotta, because you got to get off. Exactly. You can't shrimp. You're kind of stuck, and you're a target, really. So you got to focus on your I defense. I use this a lot. I use, like, a, I call it a rugby ball. Rip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just hug the chin. like put, like, a... Rogério Minotoro watching, appreciating the ACBJJ7 here in Rio de Janeiro. You know, Rogério and Rodrigo, one of the biggest icons of the I MMA. Think, uh, Rodrigo in might Brazil, be in the, the world, most of successful uh, jiu-jitsu practitioner in MMA in history. Yeah. Pride Those belt, guys, UFC belt. Crazy. Like, who, who does that, right? He's one of the most successful twins in, 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 in history. Fighting that I yes. know. I mean, yeah, definitely up there. Here we go. Um, <laughs> Best chance for Caparo is trying to go mad on this minute for the submission, uh, for this uh, takedown. You know, we have 30 seconds to give the the best of he can. Because later it's going to be really hard to score any points on Marshall. He needs to capitalize his 20 seconds. He needs to go full on. He's not going. Just 20 waiting. seconds. And yeah, then Marshall is going to This guard. is his chance here to really score that takedown. Or time it because, remember, Marshall's been sitting on the mark. Let's if he see could now. time that guard pull with a double leg or an ankle pick or even like a Yashibarai and just score those two points as Marshall sits. That's, that's three, that two, one. Here we go. He looked to the clock. It took a little time now because he sees Caparo is not Let's very offensive. see if offensive. Rodrigo's going to capitalize go. on it. He's on. He's on. Yeah, the referee made him stand back up. Or no. He's, he jumped guard. That's no, he point. got it. Yeah. That's a little bit of a mistake on Rodrigo from my point of view. I think he should push more the takedowns on the first minute because that is the best option to score a point against Marshall. He's been showing that he wants to play on the ground. It's been impossible to pass the guard. And you have a minute to give you a blast, but he didn't even do that. I 100% agree. Like, that was his best bet to win that fight. The first minute scoring that early takedown. Because it's not Marshall's forte. That's not a strong suit right there. Uh, and he's Caporal's. Exactly. He got the position right there. Got, you got a good stack. Ah, keep your hands connected. He's keeping the hips on pro. He's going to the back. That's that was yeah. good attempt by. Good job recovering there, Marcio. He's so slimy, yeah. slippery, so hard. But he got in a position that they didn't expect he could get it. Yeah, like Maybe that. He had a good he, plan. His hands connected there. That was like that was his cue to go. Um, I just fear for Caporal because I don't think he's going to get a whole bunch of chances. Like, I don't think Marshall's going to make that mistake again. But Marshall's not doing that much either. He's really got to turn it on and get a little more aggressive. Marshall there playing that reverse De La Hiva. Of that kiss the dragon position. Caporal's giving him absolutely nothing. But I, if Caporal don't change his game plan, it's gonna be very difficult to score a point on Marshall. Really difficult that way. He got as further as he could, anybody could ever get, and he didn't finish. So it's really difficult. You need to start changing his strategy right now. This team unlock right there, see? Yeah. No anymore. Yeah, both of them need to turn it on. Marshall playing guard, Rodrigo Caporal on top. Brody, what's the good technique you've been working on, man? Man, I've been working on a few concepts that's been working really well um, with uh, the control of spinning to the back from the inverted half guard. We okay. use this a lot. That's one of the things that I've been using lately. And uh, from the from, from, from the from the gear position, 
Like when you butt flop the other side, yes. let the guy, like Garcia used to do that a lot. Yes, but I'm using a different way of gripping. Instead of using my elbow to push the umpers down, I'm yeah. scooping my hand underneath straight away to the back collar. Nice, I know what you're talking so about. so I have the control already and you can before pull the I even do it. As you roll. Exactly. That's very sweet. It's, yeah, because the thing is, the, oh, here we go. Oh, nice, Marshall. has got to finish that. Oh, that was that clearly be two Rodrigo. Points. Yeah, but, um, clearly going out of bounds. He said stop before getting to the mark. Here we go. Nothing happened. Nothing. Ah, uh, that's not right. I would have given two there. How about you, brother? Very good. So, uh, as I was saying, because usually when you do that spinning for an inverted guard like Marcelo Garcia does, one of the things that people do is try to sit in up and don't let you get close to the guard. He gave it two. That's a two points. Yep. That was red fine. Red fight two points for Mas Masandre, and therefore they're going to have to start up again. And a penalty for Rodrigo. 15 seconds left in round two, and it that looks like Marcio is big taking move. this round. Yeah. Yeah, I was expecting the ref to give those points, but I think the table refs had to yeah, give him a shout out and ask him to give those points. Marshall Dead didn't stop there. Rigo doesn't look too well, happy. Um, I think at this point, Marshall feels very confident he can pull this off. He's just going to have to survive that first minute and just not end up in a bad scramble against uh, Caporal. Very good attempt for the guillotine over there. Well defended by Marshall Andrea. I don't understand why Caporal is not giving his best for the takedown. Just for those of you who are not sure who is Marcio Andrea and who's Caporal, Marcio Andrea is the one with sleeveless, uh, with sleeveless rash guard. Caporal has the, the knee Good, brace. that's it. Or the, knee, the, the, the tape knee. Marcio Andrea has the, the, the red ankle brace. Nice. There you go. It's going to come up. Marcio Andrea deliberately pushed himself out of bounds. Smart. Very smart. Yeah, Rodrigo looks very frustrated. He has 22 seconds. Yeah, well, Here we go. That's Capra how he keeps for. going for those shots too close to the edge of the mats. It's just not going to happen. The same thing that he did with, in the first Ma match. With Mafra. Ma Mafra, yeah. But he needs the points. He got only at the bunch of the round on that time. So, eight, seven seconds. Let's see what Marcio does. If he's going to pull again, probably just look at the clock. Three, two, one. Let's see. It's more patient this time. Here we go. So that's the way of pulling guard. There's kind of leaping in for a. For a shot. Getting a reaction, yes. of letting your opponent sprawl, pulling guard. Correct. I, I, this is one of my tactics, actually. I thought it was mine. Whoa! That was a dive in, guys. They want to fight. Great match. <laughs> yeah, you see Marcio reaching there. He's just trying to get a reaction out of Caporal so he can pull guard. Caparo's kind of just in a safe distance. I think he's trying to time that takedown now. Because normally, you remember, he's pushing people out of bounds. He's really pressing forward. This time, he's not doing that. I think he's really aware of the fact that Marcio wants to pull guard. And if Marcio managed to establish his guard, that could be the end of the match. Marcio Andre, very composed. He already can feel that uh, Caparo is not using many combinations to take down and he feels confident on, on, on the counter and to reshoot that he almost actually got it uh, Capra on the ground the last time so like, that's why I think he's playing a little bit more on the, on the back counter attack much, feeling much more confident on, on standing right now here we go yep. Marshall with the guard pull back to their feet really fast Marcio being very conservative, really making sure Caporal doesn't get underneath him. They playing that game, up, down, up, and down. Who's going to be on top first? Who on the back you know, first? You know, it wouldn't be a bad idea for Caporal to actually pull guard. Uh, that yeah. would be one option, you know? I mean, it doesn't have a whole what bunch else? of options. He's like, trying yeah, already everything on the first two rounds. Almost two minutes to go. It's time to change games. Mm -hmm. 
Whoever Kapral goes up comes first, up. Whoever goes up first, two points. Two. I wonder why Kapral is not coming up. Whoever goes first up, oh. A. There's a two points. That's two points. Two points. Two points. Is a double pool. If there was a double pool, whoever goes yeah, exactly. first. Exactly. You, you can hear the crowd points. doing, but I don't think they Here understand the rules. Oh, he's taking he the points took away. away. He took away the two points. Now I got confused. Yeah. Same here. A lot this of Kaparov's pressure there from Kaparov. Maybe might be his last chance here. There's a lot of pressure. Uh, man, Marshall is out. so good at yeah. that. Is that's a sweep. Sweep from Marshall and Brett. Kaparov does not want See, to be See, he wants to stand up and Marshall is pulling the legs, pulling the legs. He needs the legs to stand up. Marshall that keeps scooping the legs, keep on top. He's got the two. Counter attacking and get the most of it. That's amazing. Very good top control by Marcio Andre. Like when you go, uh, Marcio Andre always focus on the heels, pick up, uncle pick, uncle pick, because that's what Caporal uh, needed to stand up. See, instead of so going to the upper body, up that picking ankle up off the, the ground, heels, yep. keep him on the bottom. That's the, what I always do when I try to sweep someone. Control the ankle. All right. Yeah, exactly. It's like the inversion of the technical stand up. Yes. You he take needs away. to bring that yeah. foot back to be. You control the, the bottom leg. Absolutely. I used to do that a lot in MMA when guys would try to stand back up exactly. off the fence. You don't first thing I do is control back. the ankle. Yeah, I keep them down. That's part of my strategy too. We have similar game plans. I agree. <laughs> I'm just better looking. You, you gotta be. Smart I'll, I'll guy. give you the jujitsu advantage. You gotta. I'll give. I'll, I'll give myself the looks advantage. <laughs> you, you How about that? Very <laughs> smart guy. <laughs> Ten seconds to go. Marcio Andre with the win. Moving forward to the final. Very tough match against Caporal. Yo, winner by points. Marcio. Ah!